Senate Bill 152 is uh, some language the state treasurer's office uh, brought to us to kind of align our state um, Missouri Education Savings Program with what the feds are doing. So um, the, the easiest thing that you can see as you look through the bill is it takes out the word savings and makes it a Missouri Education Program. But it also redefines that it, actually the definition of what is an eligible education institution to include all ed eligible education institutions rather just than institutions post-secondary education. This bill uh, does do three things to the uh, Missouri 529 program. Uh, the main changes are that it would allow um, out of a 529 account uh, expenses towards a um, uh, repayment of student loan debt up to $10,000. It would also allow um, a 529 account to be used for apprenticeship programs that are registered with the D Department of Labor. Um, secondly, uh, Senate Bill 152 changes the name of the uh, uh, Missouri Most 529 program from Missouri Education Savings Plan to Missouri Education Plan. Uh, lastly, it does add some clarifying language in section 166.420.2 and uh, it removes uh, the language buyer participant and in sections 166.435 where it removes participating. Uh, these changes were necessary to just clarify that anyone who contributes to a 529 plan can take the, uh, the state tax deduction for that. It's not usual that we get to come talk about workforce issues before this committee, but we are supporting on the basis of that this bill is aligning our state code with the federal code that now allows for 529 plans to pay for apprenticeships. Missouri is actually leading the way in terms of apprenticeships in the nation. We actually rank second out of all the states in the number of completed apprenticeships. And we believe that coming out of this pandemic, we are going to ne really need to rely on on-the-job training opportunities like apprenticeships to rebuild our workforce. Not everyone is meant to go to college, and we know that apprenticeships are a great way for individuals to learn and get trained for high wage jobs. We actually were awarded a significant US Department of Labor grant in the past year to expand tech apprenticeships across Missouri. These apprenticeships are in forms of cybersecurity, um, computer programmer, software coding, with the average wage of about $60,000 a year. So apprenticeships provide a great avenue for individuals to get trained to a, you know, a very um, in-demand career. And we are happy that this bill further promotes more individuals to have access to apprenticeships in our state. For these reasons, we're happy to support, and I can take any questions.